Hello friends, this video on friction part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the second factor. That is how it matters that how tightly the surfaces are held together. How is that going to affect the friction? So let us see how does it matter how tightly the surfaces are held together. Now friction occurs due to irregularities on the surfaces in contact. Now what kind of irregularities are we talking about here? Now just let us take an example. Let us suppose you have a box and you try to move the same box first on a smooth surface and then on a rough surface. So this is a smooth surface and this is a comparatively more rough surface. Now, if you try moving the box in both these surfaces, in which surface do you find it easier to move the box? Obviously, on the smooth surface. That's because here the friction is less. So, you do not need to apply a lot of force in order to move the box because the opposing force is anyways less. So, the box moves easily. So, it becomes easier to move a box on a smooth surface. Now, if you look at the structure of a smooth surface and a rough surface, what do you see? We see that all surfaces have irregularities. When I say all surfaces, I mean all surfaces. Now, how exactly a smooth surface and a rough surface look like? So maybe if you closely observe a smooth surface, the one like this one. So in this smooth surface, maybe uh, the this surface. So this is the surfaces this is where the surfaces are in contact with each other right so what we will do is i will just try to show you how exactly this would look if you look at it very closely and very deeply you will see that this surface the smooth surface still has though the surface looks smooth but still it has some irregularities like this and when you look at the surface of the box which is in contact with the smooth surface so that box ha also has some irregularities like this and these two irregularities they kind of uh, join with each other and that's how they come in contact with each other so this is how the area of contact looks like so basically the irregularities of one surface joined to the irregularities of the other surface and that is how they come in contact. Now, if you look at a rough surface, so the rough surface will have more irregularities like this and now the box is still going to have similar type of irregularities. So in this case, what happens? So how this irregularities brings about a difference that's because when you have more irregularities the chances of interlocking increases so these gaps i mean these shapes they will fill these gaps again these shapes will fill these gaps so that's how these two surfaces they are two surfaces but these two surfaces will get interlocked now the more is the interlocking the greater is the friction because more interlocking means the two surfaces are held together more strongly. Correct? So it, it is something like this. You have uh, two cubes and you fit those two cubes with each other. Like you would have played these kind of games, right? So let us suppose you have one box like this. You have another box like this. Now, if you fit these two with each other, so they get completely interlocked. So if you want to remove them, you really need to apply some force, right? So in a very similar way, once these two surfaces get well interlocked, the friction increases. That means now they are not very much ready to move away from each other. Now, if you really want to make them move away from each other, you need to apply a greater force. So this means that greater the interlocking, so greater is the interlocking between the two surfaces, greater would be the friction. And greater is the friction, greater is the force you will need to apply in order to make the body move. Now, what happens in smooth surfaces is that in smooth surfaces, uh, the irregularities are less. So, in, in, in case of a smooth surface, irregularities are less. Whereas, in case of a rough surface, irregularities are more. 
So you have more irregularities and when you have more irregularities, you have more interlocking. So due to this, it, you see that the smoother surface offers lesser friction when compared to a rough surface. Now, what do we mean when we say that friction is higher if the two surfaces are pressed harder? Now, you have understood the concept of irregularities and interlocking. So now let us assume that forget about the scenario of the smooth surface. Now in the same rough surface, let us suppose that the same box, you have the same box, you are the same person. Just that somebody is trying to apply some force on this box from above. So there is a greater force which is being applied on the box or you can say that the box is being pressed harder on the surface. So in this case, what happens when you try to apply a force from above? So basically you are applying a force from above like this. So what happens? This applied force makes the interlocking even more stronger because the above surface is being pressed and it is trying to get pressed with the lower surface. So the irregularities are going to get better interlocked. So what happens when the interlocking is better again, the friction is going to increase. So that means if the two surfaces are pressed harder, the interlocking is going to increase and therefore friction will increase. Therefore, even if we are talking about the same surface, we are talking about the same object. But if those two objects are pressed harder to each other, then the friction increases. And when the friction increases again, it becomes difficult to make that object move. In order to make it move, you need to apply even greater amount of force. Now, in this case, you imagine, now let us suppose you are again trying to move the same box on this rough surface. Now, since somebody is trying to press it from above and trying to, I mean, place it just at that point, it becomes all the more difficult for you to move it in this direction. So you really need to apply even greater amount of force to make it move. So this is how the uh, factor that how tightly or how loosely the surfaces are pressed to each other that also determine how much friction would the surface exert. So I hope that these two factors which affect friction is now clear to you. Just try to understand the concept. So friction is all because of interlocking between the surfaces. Now when the interlocking increases, friction increases. Interlocking decreases, friction decreases. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.